takeoff and landing for the Agris T30 and T10. Before takeoff, check the takeoff and landing areas and the surrounding flight area. Select an open area with level ground for the takeoff and landing points. Did not take off or land in busy areas. Check for obstacles in your flying area. Plan in advance to avoid obstacles like trees and telegraph poles. After following these instructions, you can start the Agris drone. First, check whether the remote controller has enough battery. Ensure that there is at least one bar of battery power before operation. If the external battery of the remote controller is insufficient, promptly charge and replace the battery. The antennas should be oriented correctly. Do not point the antennas towards the drone because signal strength will be weaker in this orientation. Check whether the stick mode is set to the operating mode you want to use. If not, change the mode. Unfold the Agris drone. Confirm that all the buckles are tight and the propellers can be unfolded normally. Promptly replace any damaged or cracked propellers. When preparing to install the battery, confirm that the lithium battery is fully charged and that the power distribution board is free of black or green oxide or rust. If any oxide or rust is found, promptly replace the board. When installing the battery, insert it from the top. A click sound indicates the battery is properly installed and locked in place. Short press and then long press the battery power button to turn on the Agris drone. Add the liquid pesticide and press and hold the spray button to discharge air. Check that the nozzles are not clogged. If any nozzle is clogged, promptly clean it. If no issues are found after these checks and the operation area is clear and safe, you can start flying.